Welcome to Soft Tonics 5 Apps to Try this week. It's September 18th and we're here to bring you a browser that blocks ads, a new take on Google Street View and three other interesting apps to give a go. First this week we have the Android Wear app for iOS. Google has developed this app for owners of Android Wear who want to connect it to an iOS device, letting you have an Apple in your pocket and an Android on your wrist. Although it still has limitations, this is a great option for wearable fans who still aren't convinced by the Apple Watch. Next this week we have a game that mixes genres in an interesting way, Puzzlecraft 2. While match three puzzles and a town building game in a similar style to SimCity might sound like they have nothing in common, Puzzlecraft 2 has you matching blocks to create resources to further develop your town. If you need more building materials for houses, match stones. Or if your people are hungry, match grains, letting you build your perfect city one puzzle at a time. Third this week we have a new app. Kind of, because Google Street View now has a standalone app. Yes, you heard right. Google has taken the service offered in Google Maps and Google Earth and given it its own app. Now you can travel the world from your couch and work out just how lost you are with a street level view of buildings, roads and landmarks. The app is actually an update for Google's Photosphere camera and incorporates this service's 360 degree camera to help you build Google's catalog of panoramic pictures. And honestly, after saying all of that, the word Google no longer has any meaning to me. Next this week, we have something that really caught my attention as a gamer. Called Mirative, this app lets you share your Android phone or tablet screen with anybody else using the service. Just open the application, select the game you want to stream, and away you go. It even lets you put a picture-in-picture -picture image of you playing the game using your device's camera. Perfect for showing the whole world your concentration face while you play Angry Birds. Mine looks a little bit like this. Our final app this week is Ad Blocker Browser, the mobile browser that blocks ads from the sites you visit. It can be a great thing to have the option to block ads from sites you don't trust or visit often, especially with this browser also stopping malware. But while it does help with hassle-free browsing, it basically means you're receiving the content from that site for free, because ads are how content is paid for online. It's up to you of course, but do think twice before you block ads from sites you visit often and enjoy. That's it for this week's recommendations. I'll be back on Monday with the latest tech news. Until then, be sure to subscribe and check out our other great videos. See you next time.